I'm just going to say that I haven't done this for what, almost three months. So it might not be as flowy as it used to be. So, but you know, I always make it up as I go. No, no, if we want us, what'd you say? I said, no excuses needed. We're just doing it. Just for the fun. All right. All righty. If you want to record it and we want to sync up, I'm going to give us, give you a countdown. Yeah. Ready? In five, four, Three, two, one. I'll let's start on my watch. Nice. So let's find a sitting position that's comfortable yet alert. We're going to do a couple minutes of breathing just to get in the zone. You can sit cross legged or legs out, whatever's comfortable. Let's take three centering breaths. And as you breathe in on this first one, Really sit up tall, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, relax. Let your shoulders sink down. Okay, second breath. Let's breathe in through the nose. Feel your chest expand. And once again, begin to settle in. Let the out breath. And last breath together. And if you haven't already, feel free to close your eyes as you breathe out. And you can resume a normal breathing pattern. And let's relax our whole body from top to bottom. We'll start with our forehead. You notice any wrinkles there? Iron them out. And then we're just gonna work our way down to our cheeks and our jaw. And we're gonna get to our neck. It holds up our head. Does a lot of work for us. So begin to relax that. And then down to our shoulders. And then as you breathe out this time, we're gonna Breathe into our arms, starting from the shoulders, down to the elbows, and then down to our hands. And then just take a moment, notice where your hands are, whether they're resting on your knees like mine are, or maybe they're clasped in your lap. It doesn't matter. And then we're gonna focus, come back to the chest, just notice how it expands as you breathe in, how it contracts when you breathe out. And then down to our belly and our navel, just same thing. Notice how it moves in and out as you breathe. Ugh. And that was the top half of our body. Then we're gonna move down to the lower half. So let's do our touch points of where your bottom touches your yoga mat. Hopefully you're doing this with a mat. You should be doing yoga without one. But good for you if you aren't. That just sounds really hard. And then we're going to work our way from our bottom through our quads and our hamstrings to our knees. And then from our knees all the way down through our shins to our feet, and you're sitting cross-legged like me, notice where your shins touch your feet, and in turn where your feet touches your mat. Continue to breathe. All right, and we're gonna take one more deep breath together. And then when I, you hear the singing bowl, you can open up your eyes and then we'll start the stretching. So let's breathe in through the nose. All right, let me hop off the block. And we'll get our sitting side stretch. 
So let's once again, sit up nice and tall. Let's bring our fingertips and reach towards the ceiling. And then I'm gonna start my left. So plant that left palm on the mat. And then keeping both sit bones planted, reach the upper right hand corner of the room with those that right arm. And feel the stretch all the way down your side. You can come down to your forearm, great. If not, that's good too. And then let's get that left arm back up towards the ceiling and let's get our right side. And if you want, you can use that right arm and play with that distance and see how low you can get over time. Obviously, we want more of a stretch, but we're just starting up again. So no need to kill yourself. And then as you breathe out, reach that right arm back up. And then bring your hands back to heart center. And then let's get our spine. So let's start with that right hand on the left knee. Plant the left hand on the floor behind you and give yourself a gentle twist and see how far back you can look behind you, turning the chin into the left shoulder. And with each exhale, see if you can push a little more, get a little deeper in the stretch. Then the next exhale, unwind, come back to center. Whew. And let's get our other side. So left palm on the right knee, right palm on the floor. And then if you want to, with the hand that's on the ground, push against the ground. Get every extra. This millimeter of stretching. All right, give yourself one last push here. See how deep you can go. And then as you breathe out, let's come back to center. And then let's do the butterfly pose. So get the inner thighs. So bring the soles of the feet together. And then bring your heels in as close to your soft tissue as you can, or as is comfortable. And then just begin to lean forward. Pretend that there's a line between your navel to your heels, and you want to shorten that distance, letting the knees drop down. Oh, look at that face. It's working. Or something's not working. But. It's all about perspective. Okay, pull yourself in if you want. You can pretend like your feet are a book. You're opening up your book to read. And let's take one deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, round out your back, reach on the floor in front of you. You can either crawl with those fingertips or slide with those fingertips. You should be really feeling the inner thighs now, hopefully. All right, then let's sit back up and then we'll stand, we'll get our hamstrings. Ooh. So nice. Wide stance, toes facing forward. Let's reach up towards the ceiling and then gently swan dive forward, controlling yourself all the way down. And we're just gonna hang here for a little bit. You can cross your, you can fold your arms and rest your forehead right on your forearms. And if this is enough of a stretch, you can just Stay in still, or if you want, rock side to side. 
And if you notice one side's a little bit tighter than the other, you can just stay to that side. Okay, so find your tight spot wherever stretch works best. And then we're gonna take a little bit further just for fun. So if your body allows, clasp your fingertips behind you, reach the hands towards the front of the room. Okay, adding a little bit of shoulders. Just hanging out. Okay, those hamstrings are starting to get pretty happy. And then let, if your fingertips are in the air, let them go. Bring the right palm to the floor right in front of your face. Plant that palm. And then bring the other arm towards the ceiling. Really reach up like you're trying to grab on and, and touch your ceiling. Opening up that right shoulder. All right. And then bring that right arm back down to the ground and swap palms. So the right palm is on the floor. Left fingertips, left hand is up in the air. And just like our spinal stretch earlier with that hand that's on the floor, if you want, push against the ground. Get that extra little bit of rotation if you can. And let's bring that left arm back down. Walk real quick. And then just letting the arms, the head dangle on a slow 10 count. Slowly straighten your torso up. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! All right. And you can stand back up. Let's get a neck stretch. Let's grab the there. I'll rotate around. Grab the left wrist behind your back with your right hand. Make a chicken wing, and then just drop your head down to the right side of the chicken wing side. All right, then we're going to rotate our heads back gently and look up. And notice how that stretch moves towards the front of your neck. And then just slowly rotate it forward. So you're looking down at the ground or at your toes. All right, and then let's come back to the neutral position and bring our head back to center and then we'll get the other side. So grab the right wrist and make a chicken wing on the left. And then we're gonna drop our heads down to the other side. Okay, look at your Trying to listen to what your left shoulder is telling you. And then let's look down to start on this side just to change up the order. All right. And then let's turn the chin up towards your ceiling. And then continue to breathe. Don't hold your breath in any pose that we hold. Hold the pose, not your breath. And then back to the neutral position and then back to center. All right. And then since we're standing, let's do our standing side stretch. So you can either go feet together or slightly apart, depending on how much balance you want to add. And then standing up nice and tall, reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling, looking through your hands for a moment. And I'm going to start on the right. So right arm is at my right side. Kicking out my left hip and reaching with that left arm. And if you notice, you'll kink in your elbow, straighten up your forearm and just continue to reach. 
turning your chin into your towards your elbow. And let's take one in breath here. And as you breathe out, let's bring the right arm back up. And let's get the other side. So kicking out that right hip. And we're reaching with that right arm. Gently supporting yourself with that left hand on your left side or left leg rather. And then as you breathe out, bring that left arm or left hand up towards the ceiling and then lower your hands back to heart center. Get another hamstring stretch. So that's gonna lengthwise with your mat. I'm gonna start my left leg out in front. Left toes are facing forward, your heels are in line. And then reaching up towards the ceiling. And then let's just swan dive back down, 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 down. Ooh. Feel that in the left hamstring. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then try to square up your hips like you're driving your right hip toward your left ankle. Hopefully you feel an additional little pinch, a little extra stretch. And if your hands can't reach the floor, that's all good. You can leave it on your shin if that's the amount of range you have. And then come out of it, just bend that front knee and then come on up and we're gonna, we're gonna switch sides. So right foot's out in the front, right toes are facing forward, arms are back up in the air. And then let's swan dive down, 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 down. And as before, with every out breath, see if you can get a little bit deeper into the stretch, letting your body relax. All right, and then as you breathe out, bend that front knee and then come on out. Ooh. All right, and let's do our moving options. I'm gonna face my door, doesn't really matter, but come towards the front of your mat. We're gonna go feet and legs together. And then we're gonna do two practice swan dives just to warm up our body. So reaching up into the air. Let's swan dive down, 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 down towards those toes. And notice how far you can stretch now. And then coming up to flat back, resting your hands and your knees or your shin. And then exhale back down. And then eyes up, head up, reverse swan dive. Letting the calves and hamstrings get ready. And that's one. We're going to do one more warm up. And then come on back down. Getting a little bit deeper than the first time. And then Come on up to flat back. And then we're going to exhale, get even deeper. Then eyes up, head up, reverse, swan dive until your hands are at the very top. And then let's begin. So swan dive for a third time, which is be starting to feel pretty good now. Let's come on up to flat back. And then as you exhale, up, plant both palms on the mat as you step back to plank. And then let's chaturanga or lower yourselves down and into upward dog. And remember the goal of upward dog is to go to the palms of your hands, the tops of your feet. Your knees and legs are on the ground. That's okay too. But 
Let's try to get everything off the floor. And then back to plank. You can add in a push up here if you'd like on your way to downward dog. All right, and then in the first downward dog of the day, let's bend the left knee and drive the right heel down. Stretch out that right calf. And we're just bicycling the leg, so let's switch sides, bending the right knee, driving the left heel down. Okay, making sure those fingertips are nice and spread. And then just push the floor away. And then switch sides back to driving the right heel down. And then back to the left. And then straighten both legs. And then from here, we're going to bring both feet together behind us. And let's start with the left. So let's float the left heel into the air. And then gently swing that left foot and plant it in front of you. And let's bring the arms and torso up into crescent pose. Woo. Making sure that that front knee is over the front ankle, not over the toes. Okay. You should feel that in the right hip as well. The back heel is up and off the mat. And from here, we're going to transition into a prayer twist. So bring the hands to namaste and plant the right elbow onto the left knee. Stacking the hands one on top of another. And looking at something stationary in your ceiling that helps with your balance. You might be shaking a little, it means your stabilizer muscles are working. Now we're going to exit in three, two, and one. And bring the arms back up briefly. And then bring the, everything back down to the mat, planting both palms. Bring that left leg back and let's chaturanga down into upward dog. Back to plank, adding in that optional push up. And back to downward dog. And then let's get the other side. So feet and legs together, float that. Right heel up into the air, opening up that hip. And then let's swing it forward, plant it in front of us as we come to crescent pose on the right. Ooh. Very good. Let's bring the hands to heart center as we transition to prayer twist on the right. Stacking the hands, pointing the right elbow up towards the ceiling. All right. All right. Let's come back to center and bring the arms back up, really reach for the ceiling with those fingertips. Enjoying that stretch in the left hip. And as you exhale, bring the arms and torso back down, planting both palms. Right leg comes back, and let's chaturanga down into our upward dog. Really push the floor away here. Get the head and neck away from the shoulders. And then come back to plank, adding in that push-up into our downward dog. All right. And let's do our warrior sequence. So feet and legs together. We're going to float that left heel back up into the air. And let's swing it on through and plant it in front of us. And as your arms and torso come up for warrior one, that back heel comes down. All right. And then let's go arms front and back for warrior two. And just make sure your warrior two is good. Your hip should be. 90 degrees from your mat, your shoulders are right above your hips, adding the arms, 
That's warrior two. All right, from here, let's dip back into reverse warrior, gently resting that right hand on the back leg as the left fingertips reach behind you. Nice little side stretch on the left. And then come back to warrior two. And from here, we're gonna straighten that front leg. We're gonna go into triangle pose. So I want everyone to reach forward with the left fingertips as far as you can. When you can't reach any longer, drop the left hand down, or left fingertips down towards the ceiling, reaching upwards with those right fingertips. Okay. If you want, you can rest the left hand on the left leg. That's cool too. You want to get real crazy, you can move the left hand to the left side of the left leg. There's a lot of lefts there. Your left, make a right. All right, and from here, we're going to come back on up into warrior two, banding that front knee once again. And then let's reverse everything. So get back into reverse warrior. Back to warrior two. And then let's swing that right arm forward and up for warrior one. And as you bring the arms and torso back down, that back heel comes up, planting both palms, and then chaturanga down into upward dog. Okay, back to plank, adding in that push up here into your downward dog. And then we're going to repeat the entire process for the right side. So feet and legs together. We're going to bring that right heel into the air. Whew. Let's swing that right leg through, planting in front of us and coming to warrior one on the right. Whew. All right. Let's go to warrior two. Okay. And if at any point you are up here and you're dogging it, let's bend that front knee, going as low as comfortable. And let's dip back into reverse warrior. Okay, don't put too much weight on that back leg. It's just there to support you. It's not there to hold everything up. And let's come into warrior two. Then we're going to straighten that front knee, a little bit of relief. And then let's reach, 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 reach. Reach forward. Then drop that front arm, front fingertips down to the mat, down to the earth. And we're reaching up with that left hand that's in the air. Turning our chins up towards the ceiling as well. Enjoying that stretch of the front leg. All right. And then we're going to reverse everything. So pop back up. And then let's bend that front leg as we come back in warrior two. And then let's dip back into reverse warrior, reaching the back of the room with the right arm. And we come back to warrior two. And let's swing that left arm forward and up for warrior one. And then let's exhale, bring everything back down, planting both palms, bring that right leg back to plank as we chatter on the down into upward dog. And then back to plank and push up if you so choose into downward dog. Okay, and from this downward dog, we're going to transition straight into chair pose. So slowly step those feet towards the hands, bringing the feet together, dropping your bottom down as your arms come up. You want a straight line from your bottom, through your hips and your torso, through your arms. Pretend like you're holding up a box. And then I'm going to even hold my yoga block. Okay. 
It'll prevent, help prevent me from letting my elbows flare out. All right. And from here, slowly straighten up your body. We're going to get off those heels onto the toes. And then once your heels are in the air, stop thinking about what's on the ground, but just think about your hands in the air. All right. And then as you breathe out, slowly lower your heels back down, bringing the hands to namaste. And we're going to twisting chair pose on the left. And just like prayer twist, it's you press the right elbow into that left knee. And if you notice your butt's pretty high in the air, see if you can lower it down. And you're really feeling the legs. And then come back to center as we sprout on up off the heels and go as high as you can you really want to touch your ceiling that's the goal reach 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 Whew. all right and then three two one slowly lower the heels back down come in a prayer twist on the right That seems a little bit harder for me today. All right, and then back to center. And then for a third and final time, slowly straighten up your body, getting off those heels. And then as you lower the heels, bring the hands back to heart center. Ooh, very nice. We're about halfway through. Let's transition into tree and move my block there. All right, so I'm gonna start on my left foot. Let's put 98% of our weight on our left leg. Let's bring the right heel in towards your soft tissue. Balance it wherever it is comfortable, wherever you can. And once you get into position, bring the arms up top, just like we did earlier with our heels off the ground. Okay. It helps find something that's stationary and stare at it. We continue to breathe. All right, and then we're going to exit in three, two, one. Bring that right leg out and okay, shake out that left ankle if you need to. And then I'm going to get the other side. Let's see how well I can do on my right side. I sprained it a week and a half ago. This one might be a little less stable, but that's why we strengthen. interesting to see my own progress. I think I'm just going to leave my left toes on the floor, support my right side. Let's not kill myself. All right, and then we're going to exit in three, two, and one. Woo. And we get to sit now. The stuff I like, the economy of effort. Why stand up when you can sit down? And why sit when you can lie down? All right, let's do table. This one's always interesting. 
I always think it is. All right, so plant the soles of the feet in front of you about shoulder distance apart. Your hands are planted behind you. And then prop yourself up. You guessed it, like a table. Okay, really pushing your pelvis as high as you can towards the ceiling. One always gets the little bit of the you know the chest, the shoulders, the biceps. Oof. You can drop your head back. Okay, really push evenly with both feet. And then let's take one deep breath in. And as you release, slowly and, can, and slowly and carefully lower yourself back down. Control it, keeping your feet where they are. Lie down. We're going to go to bridge next. Okay, with bridge, clasp those fingers underneath you as you roll onto your shoulders. And just like table, push the floor away with your feet. And you should feel that in your glutes, in your lower back. Okay, if you want to do the support version, you can even plant your elbows on the ground and put your hands in your lower back. There are options. Choose your own adventure. Pick what works best for you. All right. And then let's lower our bottoms back down to the earth. And we're all the way down. And then we're going to stand our backs so we get our glutes. We're going to thread the needle. So make a figure four with your legs. So bring the right heel onto the left quad to the left knee, just above the left knee, rather. And then reach through that hole you just made and you pull on your shin or pull on your hamstring, depending on your flexibility level. You just feel that stretch in the right glute. I want to do, let's do three breaths here. With each out breath, I want you to relax the lower half of your body and let the right glute stretch a little bit more. I'll call it out. So let's breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Okay. Next breath, let's breathe in and relax. And last breath on this side, let's breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Very nice. And let's release the left shin. We're going to plant the right foot down on the mat. Bring the left heel up or left ankle up. Let's get our left side. Okay, same thing, we're pulling that leg in, and we'll repeat those three breaths. So let's breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, let's breathe in. Nice, long, slow out breath. All right, last time, let's really make it count. Let's breathe in through the nose. And out through the mouth. And then release the right leg. We're gonna stay in our backs for happy baby. So both legs are in the air. And your arms on the inside parts of your legs, but then you grab the outside parts of your feet as you begin to pull your 
knees in towards your underarms. And then just rock side to side, nice and easy. Okay, we're not trying to tilt over and fall over. Okay, think of it as a gentle spine massage. All right, and then you can let go of those feet. We're gonna sit up. We're gonna get our hamstrings once again. Oh. I'm gonna start with my left side. So the left leg is outstretched in front of us and bring in the right heel as close as comfortable. Hold your soft tissue here, I'll angle myself. Okay, remember you want to flex your foot, not point it, so flex up towards you and towards the ceiling and make yourself into an L with your arms and as you exhale reach for those toes and if you want an extra bonus side stretch take that right arm and instead of grabbing uh, on the inside part of your foot reach for the outside part And then just like um, our glute stretcher, let's do three breaths. And with each out breath, I want you to reach a little bit further. So let's breathe in. And then breathe out. Reach a little bit more. If you can. All right, second breath. Let's breathe in. And then relax. As you breathe out. And last time here, let's breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Really pull yourself in. That hamstring and that calf you start feeling pretty happy now. And then you can release. Ooh. And then let's get our right leg out. All right, so that left heel is in towards the soft tissue. You're flexing the feet. Make yourself into an L. And then just breathe out. Reach for the toes. And you try to reach evenly with both hands. All right, then let's get our three breaths on this side. So as you breathe in, and then relax with the out breath, reaching, relaxing your body, getting deeper into the stretch. All right, breath number two, let's breathe in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Once again, let's breathe in. Let's relax down. Letting your body take over. Okay, last one here. Let's really make it count. Let's breathe in through the nose. And let's really go for the gold here. Reach, 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 reach. All right, and then let's sit back up. And since we did both sides individually, let's do both legs together. So feet and legs together, shins, knees, thighs, everything. And then make yourself into an L once again. And then as you breathe out, let's reaching, reach for the toes or the heel, depending on where you are. And if you want, if you can't reach your toes, you can start with your hands on your knees and your shins, and then just slide your hands forward as you progress down. And take a mental note of how deep you are in the stretch. All right, because with every week that you do this, see if you can work towards either maybe the tops of your ankles, and then as we get to the ankles and the toes,
for those of you where your toes feel a little bit too easy, it's the same progress, except from your work your way down your foot from your toes towards your heels. All right, and then give me one last stretch here. Feel the hamstrings and the calves. All right. And then sit back up. And you can keep your right leg where it is. We're going to get another spinal stretch. So bring the your left leg over your right and plant your left foot down. <clears throat> and then plant your left palm on the floor behind you and wrap the right arm around that left knee. And then just turn your chin in towards that left shoulder. And you might even feel a little bit in your left glute. Feels great. And let's exhale, come back to center. And let's switch legs. So your left leg's out in front. Your right leg is planted on the left side of your left leg. And then hug that right knee with the left arm. As you look behind you. And let's make this an active stretch. Let's push the floor away with the right palm. And in every extra millimeter of the stretch. Give yourself one last push here. And then let's turn back. Ooh. Hopefully that spine feels nice and happy. All right, <clears throat> let's do another one for our backs and our spine. Let's do cat-cow. Roll up that mat. Especially for those of you like me that's on hardwood floor. Don't like that. <clears throat> All right, so knees and hands are about shoulder width apart. Let's do five breath cycles here. So let's go. Inhale, head up, chest down. And then as you exhale, round out your back. This is my favorite time of the year for this pose, because it's like a Halloween cat. Okay, and then let's inhale, head up. Exhale, head down, round out that back. Okay. Inhale, head up for three. Exhale, head down. Okay. Inhale, head up. Ooh. Hopefully you notice how your back feels as you transition from one to the other. Exhale, head down, really push the floor away. Try to reach your, think of it as reaching your spine towards the ceiling. And then we're going to do one more breath cycle. So let's inhale, head up. And let's exhale, head down. Last time here. And then come into neutral spine. And then we're going to get off our mat, okay. unravel it. We're gonna do pigeon next. This one always gets me. So for pigeon, start in plank position like you're about to do a push up. And then I'm gonna start with, with planting my right foot behind my left wrist and then drop both knees down to the mat. Try to keep the front shin about 90 degrees from the rest of your body. And if you're on your palms holding yourself up, Support yourself, work your way down. 
then find wherever your happy place is, whether that's on your elbows. If you want, you can stack your palms and rest your forehead on your palms. You can even reach out in front of you. Ooh. We're going to hang out here for a little bit. Let's do another 20 seconds. And we'll add in a nice quad stretch. Okay, let's come up in three, two, and one. Let's plant the palm and gently push yourself up. Let's keep the right palm planted in front of you as you reach behind you with the left arm, pulling in the left heel. And this one's a fun all-in-one. You're getting all the things. Fun's relative, or fun is a different definition to everyone. Okay, hopefully you feel that in your left quad as well. My family's motto is, if you're not trying, we're not trying. Ooh, all right. And then we're gonna gently release the left leg back down. Planting both palms, let's bring that right leg back to plank, and then let's get the other side. So plant the left foot behind the right wrist, drop both knees down, remember to untuck the back toes, and then just rock back and forth if you need you to settle in. That's a lot for that glute. Ooh. Just slowly lower yourself if that's available to you. And just like the other side, we're gonna hang out here for a bit. Just use that time to settle in, finding where it feels best for you. We're going to come out of this in three, two, and one. Let's plant both palms on the mat. Push yourself up. And let's reach back behind you, pulling the right heel. And for this side, I'm going to do the over the toe variation just to get the top of my foot. That low right quad. All right, let's take one breath in. And as you breathe out, let's release that right foot. Get off the left leg. Let's do our closing sequence. So have a seat on your knees for a moment. Or I'm sorry, your heels, not your knees. You can't really sit on your knees. That's weird. And if you want to, uh, your knees should be as wide as your mat. And then reach forward as you come down in child's pose. Get the rest in your forehead on your mat. Or if you don't like that, you can turn your head to the side, rest your temple on your mat. And hopefully now you're a little bit looser than when we started. Where's that? I continue to breathe. We're going to chill in here for a second. All right, and then we're going to come forward and out of it. 
into the hardest pose of, the, of them all. Uh, we rotate onto our backs for corpse pose or Shavasana. Or if I, my favorite name for it is the full body destroyer. Whew. All right, so this one's hard because I want you to lie as still as you can. We're going to go for 60 seconds. I won't say anything. I'll let you know the 60 seconds is up. We'll start in three, two, one. Right, that was about a minute. You can keep your eyes closed. Reach the arms up above you. Give me a nice morning stretch. And you can wriggle side to side. Maybe you make a groaning sound or whatever you do when you're getting out of bed. Or trying to get out of bed, rather. <laughs> And then roll on to one side. I want you to rest your face right on your hands. And now is the time to take care of yourself. Notice how good that feels. Hmm. And whichever arm is on top, take that palm planted on the floor. And leading with your shoulder, letting your head and your body follow. Push yourself up. Oof. As we return to lotus or cross-legged. If your hips are tight like mine, you have a yoga block. It does help to sit on it. All right, let's do my favorite part of this whole ordeal. Let's do our alms. Totally optional. If you don't want to, just give me a nice loud exhale like you're fogging up a mirror or a glass, whatever. So let's sit up nice and tall. And then let's breathe in through the nose. And breathe out with some sound. Oh. Number two, let's breathe in and breathe out with some sound. All right, last one. Let's breathe in through the nose and breathe out with some sound. Oh.
it from your hands to namaste at heart center. You can repeat after me if you like, or say it in your head. May you have clear and kind intentions. Let's raise our hands to our foreheads. May you have clear and kind thoughts. Let's lower our hands to our lips. May you have clear and kind communication. Back to our hearts. And as always, the light in me celebrates and honors the light in you. Namaste, my friend. Namaste. Remember to pause your watches for those of you that like to record it. Thank you.